What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, why it was so incredible, why I can't wait for the remaster, and why it might never be as good as it was originally. I've literally been playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for probably 7 hours today and I'm just super super excited ever since we've kind of gotten the confirmation that the remaster is coming out um, I just can't wait for that and I wanted to relive kind of what game what the game is like uh, so I, I powered up my 360 dusted it off uh, you know plugged it in and I, I jumped on I had to rebuy um, Xbox Live just to play this game because um, you know I'm on PS4 now so I wanted to talk about how this game holds up in 2018 um, and like can you still play it like are there still people online and can you get into a lobby thankfully yes it's actually easy to get into a lobby and maybe because the hype is kind of through the roof right now for call of duty modern warfare 2 remastered maybe that's what maybe other people like me dusted off the 360 and started playing it again but i was able to easily get into domination matches team death matches free for alls even it was super easy and i'm playing right now it's one in the morning eastern time in the u.s so like if you can get on at one in the morning and just jump into a game, you can definitely get into a game at pretty much any other time. Um, a little while ago, they actually did turn off player counts, so I can't even look and say, oh, there's, you know, a thousand people on 360 right now. Um, they turned that off, I think, a long time ago. So I don't know if you can get into, like, uh, I'm, I'm sure you can get into a search and destroy, but I really doubt you can get into, like, a, a ground war or a sabotage. The game is playable. Uh, I ran into, I think, one hacked lobby where all they did was force us to keep playing Rust. So I just left because, I mean, Rust is cool, but I really wanted to get a tactical nuke. And that's, that's one of the reasons that I want to talk about um, my. Modern Warfare 2 in general the the gameplay you're watching now and I do apologize that there's no audio I messed that up again or I'm so bad at uh, recording audio for gameplay but um, I got a tactical nuke and that was the point of today I wanted to play Modern Warfare 2 until I got a tactical nuke because I wanted to relive the feeling of getting that nuke because that is what made me fall in love with Call of Duty originally like back in the day getting a nuke like the idea of getting a nuke was just mind-blowing to me like it was just so awesome that you could literally win a match whether or not your team was winning or losing you could end the game single-handedly if you were just dominating and I think that's super cool a lot of people might disagree but I think it's a really really fun and talking about this game in 2018 right so you can jump in and you can play it and, and it works and you can get into a lobby and I didn't notice any like one little instance of hacking nothing too major but does the game hold up right like like we've had so many Call of Duty since then clearly after what it's been nine years uh there's there has to be or almost it's been probably eight and a half or so eight and a quarter um there's got to be some degradation in quality right like like we've had all these improvements to call of duty like can you really go back and play modern warfare 2 like or like are we looking at it with uh rose tinted glasses you know as, as the saying goes it's it's always better when you remember it than it is actually doing it again right and I have to say, this game holds up really, really well. This, like, <laughs> this game is way more fun than all of the Call of Duties in recent years combined. Like, I mean, I'm at, I'm up at 1:30 in the morning playing Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 2. Like, that should go to, that should show you guys just how well this game holds up. I mean, the game is, it's fast paced, and it's fast paced without forcing three lane maps where everyone sprints really quickly and double jumping and all the gun like the game just plays well and it holds up really well and my heart was racing when i got the tactical nuke and like these feelings of like excitement and and entertainment and fun like i haven't felt these things for a call of duty in a long long time so being able to relive this again in 20 18 um it's absolutely crazy like it's literally it's mind-blowing how much fun modern warfare 2 legitimately is and it's not just like looking back to the golden days and you know it will never relive that like no the game is still it's it's legitimately a fun multiplayer game um and i highly encourage you if you have a ps3 or xbox 360 to pop this game in you can get this game for like three dollars like it's so ridiculously cheap these days 
maybe maybe you'll find it for a little more but it's definitely less than 10 bucks like guaranteed um and it, it is a absolute blast now another thing that i want to talk about though um is well, one thing that that i noticed that did not age well with this game is that the render distance is is very frustrating um you can't really see things that are far away it's just washed out it's just very difficult and i'm not used to that right like in in, in newer call of duties we have really good graphics and you can see really far away and you can easily tell oh that's a person over there but in this game you legit cannot tell sometimes if there's if there's a person over there and they might just be scoped in with their sniper and you're, you're just done you literally just don't have a chance to even react uh, which is is never the case in these new call of duties because you can always tell when there's an enemy somewhere on the map like you, you you it's just you can't you don't run past people obliviously in the new call of duties mainly because everyone's running around with some fucking neon orange suit on or some random supply drop gear but um it's also because the technology has improved so that was something i had to get used to but for the remaster i'm sure that's going to be fixed and that is exciting maybe part of the uh maybe part of the fun for the game is that you when you can actually tell when someone's far away and they can't tell that you can see them maybe that was part of it i don't know we'll see how that changes but man this game is incredibly fun now one thing that i want to mention and this is something that i've talked about before and that is the golden age of call of duty the golden age of call of duty what i what i think of when i think of the golden age of call of duty is pretty much everything uh the first half of ghosts and back really not really even including ghost ghost is where it kind of died for me i think that's where it fell off for most people um but bef everything before ghosts was just incredible it's re just really really good call of duty from call of duty 4 modern warfare up to ghosts was just the golden age but right in the middle of that was modern warfare 2 and 3 at least for me um of course black ops and, and all those games but modern warfare 2 man is the golden age of call of duty for me it was just and i think a lot of you guys too and if you guys played modern warfare 2 back when it was the newest call of duty you know what i'm talking about like there were half a million people on console every night like at its peak times it was it was insane uh, the number of people playing the game and just how fun and revolutionary it was for the time and we're all hyped about modern warfare 2 remastered and myself included and that's never gonna change I, I can't wait for that game like legitimately that is that is the one game i'm looking forward to most more than black ops 4 more than any other game coming out in the near future because that is my part of a huge part of like the, the beginning of high school for me but regardless i wanted to talk about if those golden days are are, are actually gone and they're not going to come back with this remaster don't get me wrong, I just spent the first 8 minutes of this commentary talking about how good Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is, how well it holds up, and how excited I am for the game. And that's not changing. But there's going to be something missing when the remaster comes out, and that is the the freshness factor and the noob factor. And I'm going to talk about the noob factor, that's what I'm going to call it, I just thought of it. Um, but the noob factor is, you know, I think part of the reason that Modern Warfare 2 was so good when it came out, and it's it's going to be missing from this remaster. Back in the day, Modern Warfare 2 was like the first mega hit Call of Duty. Like, it was just super, 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 super good. And there were so many people where this was the first game that they they were introduced to to call of duty like this was the first introduction that they got to the series so people who had been playing it for you know modern warfare world at war when when modern warfare 2 came out who had been playing it for three four maybe years they uh, had a huge advantage over some of the other of all the of all the new people coming in right you know think of think of the christmas noob phenomenon times up literally a hundred thousand like like there were so many new people getting into the franchise and everyone was just new and bad at the game um and this was the first call of duty for them right so so the people who had been playing for two three years already had that advantage and you could those were the people who were getting the tactical nukes and who were like really like pub stomping like really pub stomping and that was awesome and i was one of those people and it was so much fun um i can't tell you the number of nukes that i would get back in the day but like honestly it was it was so much fun and 
that's going to be missing from Modern Warfare 2 Remastered because the game is 10 years old. By the time it comes out, it'll be 10 years since the original Modern Warfare came out. Modern Warfare 2, I mean, and you know, there's just, there's going to be some people where it's their first time playing a Call of Duty game, but it's going to be way fewer because the franchise is 10 years old and most likely if you're playing Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, you either played the original Modern Warfare 2 or you've played some other Call of Duty along the line. Everybody these days knows that if you drop a Harrier and then another, and then a chopper gunner comes in right after, you should shoot that down because a tactical nuke is coming. Everyone knows that now. Um, but back in the day, there were so many new people coming that they just, they couldn't fathom getting 25 kills without dying. Like, they just couldn't believe that that was a thing. And, I don't know, it's just that noob factor is going to be missing. Everyone who plays Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, I'd, I'll say 80%. 80% of the people playing Modern Warfare 2 Remastered are going to be buying it and playing it because they played the original. And what that means is that there's going to be a lot of people who are veterans of the series and, and a lot of people who are playing have been playing it for a decade and are really good at Call of Duty. Everyone is pretty good at Call of Duty if you've played it for 10 years. So I'm just I'm just nervous that it's not going to be the same and I and Call of Duty is never going to go back to that. Like the pub stomping is never going to come back in the same way that it was before. Um, and I think Call of Duty knows this. I think they're trying to artificially make that with the um, with the way that they're making the game more and more fast paced and just the fact that they're using skill based matchmaking even he more heavily in the past couple of years than ever. I think they're trying to artificially get that feeling of like you're doing well even when you're really kind of not you're almost breaking even you still feel like you got a lot of kills even though you died a lot too. They're trying to fight to get that high back artificially and it's not going to happen and, and, and it's and it's because of that noob factor that's just not going to come back. They need to find a way to get more people into the franchise um, which is hard when you're the number one selling franchise every year since like what modern warfare 2 I think like it's literally been so many years that Call of Duty sells the most titles every single year so it's hard to pull in noobs now because everyone's played it and everyone already knows if they like it or they don't and I think that's why that's part of why Call of Duty has kind of faded over the past couple of years because they're chasing that success and they can't get it artificially because it can only happen naturally it can only happen if you have a huge influx of people who aren't good and then the people who are good just can stomp them and there's no amount of skill based matchmaking that can change that because the skilled players are so few compared to all the noobs and these days everyone's been playing the game for years so there's really not that many noobs to go around so you kind of have to match everybody the, like in the best way possible and I don't know, I think that's a huge part of why Call of Duty has faded for a lot of people, but regardless, I just wanted to throw that out there. I want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Are you excited for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, and if you are, is it because you played it back in the day and you're excited to play it again, or because you're finally going to be able to play it when there's a ton of people on? Because right now, I know that I can get into a game easy, but there's not a ton of people, and I, I've seen the same people in a couple different lobbies, so I know that there's like not that many people online. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you're excited. I'm super excited, but I just wanted to share that last piece of potential negativity just to kind of like get your opinion on it and, and hear what you guys have to say um but yeah i'm super excited for modern warfare 2 remastered i cannot wait to get my first hd beautiful texture tactical nuke it's gonna feel absolutely incredible um and that's about it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace